Okay, so let's start. Good evening, everybody. Right on time, seven o'clock. Thank you very much for joining us. We're going to take a quick look into what we actually do at Digital Flyer, and then we're going to go jump into the expo questions that you might have, the arrangements for the weekend. So I'm not going to keep you too long. In the bottom, you will see this, or in your chat box you can type in questions there or write it down somewhere and at the end we will open it up and you can unmute yourself or just add your questions in the chat box and then we will uh, answer as best as what we can there's actually not too much it's pretty simple and straightforward so as you can see on the slides here times have changed um, and that is where digital flyer comes in we're really trying to make it as easy as possible for the, we don't like to call it small businesses, but the community businesses. So let me just jump into the following couple of slides is what we normally do with people uh, that attend our marketing course. That's when we run through a whole bunch of stuff. So we all understand marketing and sales equals profit. Those are almost probably the two most important aspects in your business. A lot of companies stop marketing um, I do apologize if I go silent. I'm just adding more people, admitting them into the meeting. But yeah, most of the small businesses stop marketing when times are tough. And you need to actually up your marketing spend or your marketing uh, efforts when times are tough. If people can't see you or can't find you, they can't do business with you. So it's the opposite of what most people in the economy down will tell you. We will tell you to spend more effort and time on marketing sales obviously that is the one that brings in the money if your sales strategy is wrong you can have the best marketing strategy but your profits is never going to come into your company so you really need to focus on sales sales is typical things like your quality of service your after sales support um, your information that you give to customers but that we could deal with in a lot more detail in the course uh, and that's not the thing so visibility that's what we like to call marketing accessibility that is your sales channels and then execution is what do you do after you've actually received or got the client uh, to spend money with you if we take visibility as a quick one and sorry i am rushing a little bit uh, because we want to spend time on the the expo i know that's why most of you are here so visibility is all about awareness, raising awareness, be visible where your market is. Do you understand your market? Can they see you? If they think about your service or your product, will they know about your company? Will they be able to find your company? The second very important part is informing your market of products, services, events, and trends. A lot of people not using Facebook 100% as they should, you should actually start informing customers. What do you do? What is, what's your products, what's your pricings, all those kind of things. So information is what people want and they don't want long written documents and long stuff to write. Your customer base has become very, very lazy. So you need to make it as easy as possible for them to understand what you do. Then education, your customer base. If we, we normally talk about uh, uh, getting a customer, retaining the customer and then growing the customer. If you educating your current customer base about things that you do, extra stuff that they most probably don't know, or even in an upgrade situation, you will keep that customer and they will always come back to you because they know you're an expert um, in your field. So that's visibility and that's what we, we actually don't, will very soon stop talking about marketing and only focus on visibility. <clears throat> excuse me then accessibility is the part that is crucial and lots of businesses are missing this point accessibility is i don't know about you but a lot of people are complaining about service all over the country all over when they do um, business with businesses and that is because the the service quality of companies has really gone down and that is you can rather stop any marketing activities and focus just on your current current customer base making sure that you're delivering excellent service that you are constantly in contact with them there's various things with it information 
how easy is it to get information from uh, from your customer database or for your customers about your product and services? So that's where a website comes in. That's where your uh, uh, Facebook page comes in. That's where exhibitions like this comes in. Can they come and talk to you? What is your receptionist like? Or if they call you, uh, can they get, get accurate information? If they send you an email to request information, do you provide solid information? And then sales is how easy is it for a customer to give you their money? Um, is it difficult for them to do business with you? Is it uh, a strain to do business with you? Do they have to wait? Those are all crucial, crucial elements uh, elements inside your business. So then your execution. Execution is where you've built up your strategy where, and you stick to it and you execute it properly. Your strategy, breathe and stay calm. Avoid the shotgun approach. Don't rush out and just post 10,000 uh, flyers on Facebook or go on a street corner and hand out flyers all over the show. Do it strategically. You need to understand um, who's going to get it. And a lot of businesses are wasting money with a shotgun approach. Database. Do you know who is spending money with you and what they actually spend money for with you? Can you contact them afterwards and you can tell them or ask them, were you happy with the service six months ago? Your TV is up for repairs or your irrigation system is up for maintenance. Have you done it? Can we maybe come and give you a quote? Something like that. That's where why a database is really crucial that you can communicate with your customers in a way that they will immediately understand. And then the implementation side is know your execution strategy upfront, leave space for adoption. What we mean with that is, for example, if we take this weekend's ex, um, expo inside Woodlands, that's a prime example. So you know there will be thousands of people coming through the mall Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The typical type of person that will be there is people who stays in Woodhill, Silver Lakes, Moleta Park, those areas. They are all homeowners. A lot of them are business owners. A lot of them will most probably be the wife that's coming to shop. The kids will be there. The husband might be there. So how are you going to make it inv inviting? for them to come to your table and actually start talking to you. Do you have a strategy for this weekend to really engage with the audience? And even if they don't want to buy right there and then, can you accumulate data to contact them afterwards? Or is there a method for them to contact you um, at the end of it? So strategy is really important when you start. Don't just jump in and spend money on a website or on a Facebook campaign or the expo. Uh, make sure you know what you're going to get and what you want out of it. So Digital Flyer, in short, we're going to quickly look at the, who we are and what we actually do. So Digital Flyer is an online business marketing platform. It's not a business listing. I know there's a lot of confusion <clears throat> where people think we're just a listing platform. We're not. With Digital Flyer, you actually get a web page. And we've got a few customers who's already canceled their websites and only using Digital Flyer as their website. Because the website's predominant reason for existing is so that people can find you online when they search for you. Secondly, is they want to be able to contact you. And thirdly, if they want to read more about what you do. That's all that a website actually does for, I would say, 80% of community businesses out there. So that's what we do with our profile. Then we've got a full e-commerce system built into it where you can sell any product or service. And we've integrated with SagePay, but not that it works like take a lot. You basically connect your own SagePay account into your Digital Flyer profile. And when somebody buys your product from Digital Flyer, the money goes straight to you. It doesn't first come to digital flyer and then we need to pay you out and we take a further commission not at all so all that digital flyer does it gives you an online presence with all the tools you need to do online marketing and online business and we connect you with a buyer that's basically it then it's got a full appointment booking system we've now upgraded the uh, the module module 
you can now book per hour, per minute, per day, even per week slots. Uh, one of our uh, members is actually with the Facebook group, who has got about 40 odd thousand members, and they've now used the appointment booking to sell their banner advertising space. So you can go onto their digital flyer page and book a whole week through the system. Uh, and yeah, so that's how that works. And then we've got the events module. The events module is open. Anybody who's got a registered and it's for free, um, who's got a registered digital flyer member account, not a business member, just a normal public member can go and list all their events for free. So the profile with the e-commerce, with the appointments, bookings, and the events modules is 600 Rand a year. Now, with you being at the expo this, this weekend, you get a one-year membership included in that 950 bucks that you've paid. So it's really worth your while to make sure that you're on there and it's built. We've got videos to show you each step of the way, how to build your page, how to register, load a product, load an event, um, set up the appointment booking so everything is available for you to do it. If you struggle, you're more than welcome to send us an email. So that's Digital Flyer in a nutshell. And this is what you all were waiting for. Expo tips and do's. Okay, so first of all, unfortunately, the timings is not. There's lots of the rules that happens here that is not, that's, it's out of our control. We have to accommodate or uh, follow woodlands and the uh, health and safety and the fire and safety rules. So please don't shout at me when we say no, or when we say you can't do this, or you have to do that. That's really not us. Um, so the times is from 8, 8 a.m. your stand needs to be done and dusted, set up and ready to uh, receive visitors in the mall. The mall runs to seven o'clock. We do get leeway from about 5.30, 6 o'clock. Um, but don't get angry with me if I ask you to please leave your table as it is up until 7. After that, you are welcome to remove the stuff from your table. And Sundays is 9, 9 to 5. That's Sunday's time. So Friday and Saturday, 8 a.m. till 7 p.m., please. Um, the stand, you have to... Don't, don't sit there with a long face. I know it's long hours, but try and enjoy it. Interact and have fun. Make it inviting for people. Look friendly. And trust me, by Sunday night, we all are very tired. Um, there's a couple of people on this group and call that were in our last expo. Um, I think it was in June, July. No overheads, so no gazebos. It's an indoor event. Um, it's inside Woodlands, so nothing higher than 1.6. They do let us get away the last, or they did let us get away the last time with higher than that. But just be aware if somebody comes past and asks you to remove it or to lower it, we can't um, stop them to ask you that. That's the safety and safety officers, yeah. What I explained earlier about Digital Flyer is when your profile is registered on Digital Flyer, we've got an app. Um, you, people will download the app and you can tell them they can add it as a favorite. So then they won't forget. So it's very easy for them to find you. Um, I saw this company, I can't remember what they did, but I need to call them or something like that. On the app, in their favorites, off they go and they can contact you. During the expo, from Friday, to Sunday, it worked incredibly well with the people and the companies who interacted with us on social media. Take a photo, um, post something every so often, post it to your page, tag Woodlands Boulevard. You, I don't know if you know how to tag, but if you don't, we will show you on the day or over the weekend and tag digital flyer as well. If you are next to a friend or next to another stand, take a photo with them and tag them in your post. It's incredible how the word spreads and then share it to Akers van Worcester or Akers van Morleta or um, something like that. Share it to those groups. That creates interest in the market out there that's not aware of the Woodland Small or not aware of the Expo and they will come and look. And you never know, you might just get another customer out of that. 
it also explodes your reach, your social media reach, because all of a sudden there's 40 odd um, companies that's doing this, that's talking, that's going crazy. And that will increase your likes. It will increase your reach of your social media. Try and make sure that you've got a form or some way of capturing data. People who talks to you, take a business card from them, write their details down um, and follow up with them after the event. There's a lot of our exhibitors from the last show who actually sold quite a lot of stuff on the weekend, but there's also many of them that did a lot of business, <clears throat> excuse me, afterwards. So when the people are in the mall, they're not necessarily there to buy garden service or buy whatever products you are selling. They're predominantly there to buy, to go to disc game, pick and play game or some, or clothes shopping. So realize that, but make sure that you can follow up with them. Make sure that you've got your their data because afterwards they will do the business. And in certain cases, a lot of people do do business on the weekend. Then a big no, no, a big don't is you're not allowed to walk around with flyers and hand flyers out. People has to come to your table and engage with you there. Uh, we had one of the questions where, are we allowed to walk around with our t-shirts and maybe just uh, promoting your stand? And if people ask you, you can tell them where your stand is. Yes, you can do that. But you're not allowed to nag people or bother people and push stuff into their hands. The mall will ask you to stop and even kick you out. Again, that's not our rule, that is from Woodlands. So please respect the, th the, uh, the visitors in the mall. <clears throat> so in essence, that is it. That's all from my side. Uh, one thing that I forgot to add here is the parking. Parking is permitted, uh, the amount of tickets that you requested, uh, to one, two or three, and it's 10 Rand a ticket for the day. It doesn't allow you to come, come and go as you want. It allows you to come in in the morning and go out in the afternoon on the one ticket. So if you do go out and you come back, you're going to get another ticket and you have to pay 10 Rand again. So it's 10 Rand per ticket. Just remember that, please. So if you want to go in and out, then maybe just use uh, the one hour free parking. But yes, so that's it. Then some good news we got today is that the mall will already be set up on Friday or Thursday evening, uh, but we, I don't think there's many people who needs lots of hours of preparation or set up or it's not your normal exhibit exhibition. So we're going to be there at 6.30 uh, Friday morning, and then we will allocate you or show you to your table where you will be located. And yeah, by eight o'clock, we should be all up and running. I think that is it. So you are welcome to type a question in the chat box if you don't want to chat, or you are welcome to unmute yourself and ask a question. I know that was very quick, um, but I hope I answered a lot of your questions already. Uh, one more thing while you're thinking about your questions. We will have a professional uh, photographer and a video guy or video uh, company for the, I think he's coming. Leon, you on here, I know that. Are you coming Friday or Saturday or Friday and Saturday? I can't remember our arrangement. What he will be doing is he will be going around from table to table and he's going to do a 30, 60 second shoot with you. Um, that's all going to be, uh, uh, what's it? transmitted live via our YouTube channel. Um, and then we, will yeah, share all of, then we will share all of that on our Facebook as well. We will tag you. You're welcome to share it far and wide as you want. So yeah, interact. Yeah, looking good to meet you guys. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, Leon. All right, cool. Yeah, no, I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited. It's going to be lecture. We're going to do some live streaming. We're going to come down to each table, do a little interview about your businesses. For those of you guys who were there last time, you know how effective it was. We managed to garner quite a, quite a, lot, quite a lot of interest and support through it. 
Yep. And uh, yeah, it's a brilliant way of actually getting yourself out there. So let your friends and family and clients know that you're going to be live. And um, yeah, we can, we, we, let's, let's get you out there. Let's get you talking about your business. Tell us, tell us where you come from, why you do what you do. And we're looking forward to seeing you. Yeah, I know. It's good fun. All right. So we've got a couple of questions. Um, do we have to stay 8 a.m. to 7 p.m.? Unfortunately, yes. Uh, you're going to lose a lot of customers. Trust me. There was a few people who told me some of their best, best business was after five. Um, there are some of the people that really it is a long day. Uh, like I said earlier, we normally do get leeway here from about five o'clock. So I would say prepare yourself 8 a.m. to at least you have to your stand have to be up by 8 a.m. Otherwise, they will remove your table. They are very strict with that. Um, and then at least until five, please. I did not say until five. It's actually until seven. But we might get away and we could get away with leaving earlier again. You don't need to bring your own chairs. They don't allow it unless it's exactly the same as what they supply. Each table gets two chairs. Um, last time we did run into a little bit of chair shortages, but they sorted all of that out. So we are prepared for 50 tables and two chairs per table. Um, you are welcome to, I don't know what's our floss in English, uh, to rotate your people as long as somebody is at your table or uh, talking to people when somebody wants to talk to you, then yes, you can swap teams. So you can tag team each other there. Uh, okay, so that's not a question. We'll chat soon about your digital flower offering for new businesses. Yes. Uh, just on that note, um, Nadia, we have a referral program actually inside. I think some of you spoke to Natasha. She's one of our agents. Um, we do have a referral program where if somebody, and if you sign up, you will see in the back office there's a referral link. If a business signs up with that referral link and they become a paid digital flyer member, we pay 12.5% referral fees on all referrals. So you can understand where our heart is with, with digital flyer. It's not a money making thing. A lot of people are telling us we are scams because we are too cheap. Uh, we are fly by nights because we are too cheap. That's not our heart. Our heart is to help community businesses really do effective marketing and have all the tools. So from the 600 Rand that we get per year, we still pay another 75 Rand per company for a successful referral. Um, so yes, we do run that too. And then where do we go to set up and find out where our table is? Okay, Friday morning. Sorry, good question there. Thank you. Um, Friday morning, 6.30, I will be at the movie section. There's a big water fountain. You will find me either there or inside at the information desk. So if you walk in past um, Mug and Bean, you will walk straight into the information desk. I will be there. If I'm not there, you can just wait there. And I was probably taking somebody to their table and I'll come back and fetch you and, and show you where your table is. It's really quick. It went very smooth last time. We're going to try and put your names on your table. So I'll most probably just t tell you to go left or go right and find your table. Okay, so that's one. Great, thanks, noted. Any other questions? Are you excited about this weekend? It is really, it is, it's long hours, but it's lots of fun. Um, there's lots of people moving up and down. Uh, Leon is fantastic with getting some life into people um, and Facebook buzz. We, I think we nearly broke Facebook the, with the last event. Um, I know Axfinit Worcester was, we had comments like, okay, I'm going to only start posting from tomorrow again because they didn't get a chance. It was just the expo. So get involved. Really, really, it works. Where's the best place to park? Okay, the best place to park is the ground or underneath where Mug and Bean is. I'm not sure if you know where that is, but if you, the same entrance where the movies are, just pass that. Don't go into that. That's the open spot, open parking, but you can park there too. Um, but for safe, I would recommend for safety reasons, if you've got stock inside your car, sorry, just on that note, we don't have stock um, shops inside the mall. 
you are responsible to keep your own stock inside your car or a trailer. And for that, I would recommend go underneath um, there by Mug and Bean and move from there. If you're not too worried about security or something like that, security is good at Woodlands. It's actually very good. You can park straight at the top as well. It helps with carrying the stuff up and down. You are allowed to use the trolleys. So grab a trolley from Game or from Woolies, put your stuff in there and wheel it up. Uh, thanks, Henny. Yeah, as you can see in the chat box, Henny said we had a huge success last time and made contact with big customers and we are in the service business. So yeah, a lot of people are stressing about it. Um, they're in the service business. How does this help them? And there's a testimony from Henny Fenter. Um, Elise, yeah, hard battle to get out last time. Yes, it's, it's just where you park. Uh, where you park, I know, moving the stuff up and down. Also, maybe a good idea is just to first uh, park outside by the water fountain. They are not too strict at that 6 of 6.30 in the morning. Come and have a look where your table is. Maybe it is better for you to park on the far left of the mall or far right of the mall. Or there's about, what, I think four entrances, entrances to Woodlands Mall. So just check out where your table is and then we can choose from there where's the best place to park. Any other questions? I think we've covered it. Let's have a look, let's go through it. The times we've covered it, the parking we've covered it, uh, social media we've covered, the do's and the don'ts we've covered that. And what am I missing? No, nope, I don't think I'm missing. If I'm alone there, will there be someone that can help if I can go and fetch stock? Um, I'll be around up and down the whole time. So if you need a hand or if you've got a question or uh, you need somebody just to quickly check your stand for a couple of minutes while you fetch stock, like um, the question just came through, yeah, just grab, ask me. Um, I will with love, help you with biggest of love if I can. Uh, your stand is according to what we sent. It's the one by three meters. Uh, the one meter is what they tell us. You will see your floor spaces will be set up. That's pretty much your stand size. They are not very, very strict. In certain areas, they are very strict because that could cause a, a fire, a fire concern or an escape concern or something. And then they might ask you to move. So set up, um, and then we'll see what they say, but please don't one or two of the guys in the previous thing they saw me went like into the walkway out where people are walking just be mindful if you're mindful then i am sure it will work out fine how do we know how big the stand is that we've just answered thank you henny yeah success depends on what you make of the weekend i agree 100 percent with you will our tables be labeled with company names yes i'm going to try and do that if I can't get to labeling it with your company name, uh, there's no fancy, fancy labels, sorry. Um, as you can see, we're doing this on a shoestring budget. So uh, for your benefit, actually. Uh, but we will tell you where your table is. Yes, Olga. Yeah. Any questions? I think we've covered quite a lot here. Elise, Erika, you and Henny. Henny, you've said quite a few things. And Leon, you know what happened last time. Uh, did I miss anything? Or are there any other advice that you guys want to give them from your experience in the last expo? One last tip from my side, mingle with each other. That is also another way of doing business. You never know. There's 16 people on this call. At this stage, our stands are standing at 40. We are almost 99% sure we're going to sell another 10 within the next two or two days. So we're going to be sold out. That means there's 49 other businesses that could be a potential customer of yourself. So don't overlook the guy next to you or the other 49 or 30 odd um, exhibitors. You never know. They could be your next big customer. We've got an accountant there who's running a community business uh, bookings. 
we've got ladies there with amazing oils uh, that can have, maybe they can uh, give you some oils to help you relax we've got any there with uh, home home inspection that's actually a very good thing for homeowners and home people to really realize we've got grass artificial grass people there we've got normal there we've got um, everything creamy there so yes it is going to be off the charge. And oh, of course, yeah, um, Leon is going to be there. Uh, so you are welcome to grab him one side if you want to have a, a, um, a marketing video of your company going forward. So talk to him, chat to him. He's really good at what he does. Uh, that's why we use him. And he's not that expensive. He's actually very affordable. Another reason why we're using Leon. So it's quality and good price that you can get from their side. So as you can see, the marketing is already starting. A couple of people, a couple of businesses that I know personally already has been mentioned. So, and you never know what happens. Thank you very much for, I know it's, what time? How do we do on time? 30 minutes, excellent, half an hour. So yes, please, please, please relax. Enjoy the weekend, don't be stressed. Um, don't overthink it. Just kick back and enjoy it. It is a, it's an opportunity for your business to reach people that you most probably never would have. It's an opportunity for you to get really, really good exposure. Um, so enjoy it. That is going to be the secret. So if there's no questions. I am going to end the meeting. I am going to, or I have recorded this and I will Please tell me I didn't record this. Yeah, I am recording it. So I will make this live on our YouTube channel. You can watch it afterwards if there's anything that you want to know. You're also welcome to ask any questions. So yeah, thank you very much for joining us. Um, and like I said, I will publish the link on our Facebook page in the next hour or two. Have a great evening. Thank you very much, everybody.